is a wonderful Tuesday afternoon here All right. in Kicking Indian, off. Michigan. Kicking off with our first I game between Nathan playing vampires two. and Jake playing elven This is this back one. Back one. I think we're in store for a pretty good matchup today. If it's I'm what you call. see how it turns out. And I'm, I'm honestly not having not a good time with myself. I'm Thank you. not sure how the match yeah, is going to go. Yeah, it's actually right? a um, so you get a plus fact, one. Is, you really don't I see a, a lot of oh, vampires um, in, in general. Yeah. Um, pretty, uh, pretty looked down upon. Okay. Of course. The one oh. guy at random on your team. Jesus! Right. Number five. Uh, two, three, this was actually a, roll a D6 um, and on a pitch two invasion. Up, he, uh, he first five kickoff. On one he's ejected. And so he is a stunned boy. And just a stunned, stunned off the bat, boy. Off the bat. Off the bat. Off the, off the, off the uh, kickoff event. And the ball bounces. This is a hell of a fucking start. Seven. Two there forward. Right where you placed it. Of course. Yes, yes. Life is sweet. Thank you. Commentary value is pretty low. Easy I don't know, go. do we have a value Little button? High, We're also kind of low, far away from the mic. Yep, yeah, we can move in a little bit if that's better. Unsure how to change it, I'll be honest. Is it go. It's blowing, right? I, I don't know, but I know I'm going to start hitting elves. All right, so this is where the damage is actually going to start happening. He screams up your ear. Yeah, it's more of so them being really loud. I don't know. He'll do it. Of course he does. Of course he does. How are you? If elves don't have dog natively, what are you talking about? <laughs> Alright, finally, it's elf blood. Alright, roll, roll those dice. Let's see what we get. Please don't break. I'm unbiased, shit. by the way. Oh, starting good. He's knocked out. Of He's course. Stunned. Yeah! No, that was armor break, nine, into a. Can I throw a block here? Eight, oh, another Where's that boy, oh? These are just thralls hitting shit. Who else is? Oh, wait, that's a vampire? I don't even know which ramp, which which models are his vampires right now. Man, five players with uh <laughs> with animal savagery. With animals, yeah, with animal savagery. Yeah. Ooh. See, now we're really loud. Or at least in our headsets. So even though he still has, he's knocked down most of the players on the f line of scrimmage here. This is still just the the start of the game here. Elves can definitely just squeak by with a lot fewer uh, members than a lot of other teams can. So the whole objective of the game really for vampires versus elves is that the vampires are trying to do as much damage to the elves as soon as possible just to get as much of their players off the field so the vampires can manage to score despite their difficulties yes and so the elves don't run rampant on them should some of them or most of them even survive I assume that Nathan's going to try picking up the ball with one of his thralls. I mean, obviously, at this point, because he's moved all his vampires. Mm -hmm. But actually moving the ball with the thrall, which is nice, actually, because that avoids the uh, animal savagery debuff on the, um, on the vampires, which means they have to do an aggressive action. Otherwise, they, they, they risk a four-up. And he does hit the roll to pick up the ball. Very nice, very nice. And he still has the other two thralls there to, uh, to walk it down with them. This is a pretty. This is a very good spot for uh, Nathan and his vampires first for starting us off. And to remind remind those just catching in, um, this is started with a uh, 
a stunned elf on uh, Jake's side thanks to the kickoff event. Oh, this is turn two. All right, finally moving some elves up here. Just marking the uh, the, play, the thralls around the ball carrier, just negating their tackles or not negating their um, assists if he decides to blitz the ball carrier. Okay, so here comes the blitz. Has to make two go for it. First one, good. Second one coming in. All right, two die block. Ooh. Ooh. All right, first reroll of the game. You got but it in the end. Three skulls out of four. Yeah. Oh, I oh, we missed the first one. He's actually down to one reroll. I don't know. You want to win? Get to him real quick. Oh, it should just be clicking. How do you edit the numbers again? Because you can't just click on them. Used to be a lower third. Oh, lower third. And then you can just click on them. There we go. Call Whoa. me a liar. I'm, I'm we literally tried twice. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Jake is down to one reroll, okay. and this is actually turn two. Dodging out with an elf, which isn't even really anything to just say. Just what? Two up? Mm, sure. Another dodge out. Hits the one. Which is nice. I'll, yeah, just let him go. Just let him go. This is near the end of the turn anyway. You only have one reroll left. Yeah, he's fine. So long as Nathan's been uh, keeps on hitting these animal savagery uh, rolls, he, he's going to maintain this strong position. Um, he, he, Jake is just on a on the back foot here with just so many of these players on the ground. Okay, blitzing and then running away with the ball carrier. 
With Jake being already down to one reroll, it could be devastating for the later half. Hey, yeah, I asked Jake if I could uh, just get what I wanted and use uh, <laughs> that's, that's what he needs. Oh, they start with sidestep? They sure do, I didn't know that. No armor break. Okay, so here's an animal savagery roll. Yep. Lashes out. So now Jake gets to roll armor. This is a four up. Makes it. After playing a whole season with Chaos Dwarves and a Minotaur with Animal Savagery, Jake, I mean, um, Nathan is definitely a lot more scared of failing the rolls than I am. Or at least I was. Not saying that's wrong, because you definitely have to protect those thralls. Without the thralls, vampires just fall away. But he always moves away just in case so he doesn't hit one of his people. Fails the four up. He's getting in a very good position to protect the ball carrier mm -hmm. as he moves down mm -hmm. the field, however. Building that cage with strength for vampires. Absolutely. <laughs> and a thrall, but. But elves and their agility, being able to dodge in after, um, after they get in there and even cause a, a, a blitz, even though it's even going to be a two die disadvantage, uh, elves can definitely make it, especially with their blitzers with that come with block. Yeah. Actually, we're doing the turns wrong. That's what I thought, but I, yeah. This is the bottom of the two. Yep. <laughs> Look, we're, we're rusty here. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while since the last league. I haven't even played since. my first game. Yeah, yet. neither have yeah. I. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is my first league for Blood Bowl, so getting into it. Making sure I know. Well, we're glad to have you. Yeah. I'm excited for the season, though. It should be. This is going to be... We have such a diversity for this league. We Absolutely. have so many different teams. So many but. different teams and so many people playing teams that they're new to. So yes, they may yes, not know yes. the exact intricacies at the beginning of how their team works or should work. Which is actually kind of point of having this as the Premier League, which is, you know, fresh teams out of the box. Yes. No no redrafting, no nothing. And I think it, it encourages this kind of behavior where you're, you're starting a whole brand new team that you don't know you know, like the back of your hand. Yeah. Definitely. So after that successful block, he was able to get a uh, an elf in next to the ball carrier, but to like what end here? It still seems like such a bad situation. Yes. It's not looking good for at least this first score for Nathan. I'm just trying to think of what, what's the, the correct play here for Jake. 
I mean, I'm kind of agreeing with him where how where he's currently positioning, where he's just, you know, putting a little bit of effort into blocking it from going down the field, but also not necessarily putting yourself in the tackle zone of the vampires who are just gonna hit you and elves with their poor armor. It's that's just not necessarily a risk that you want to take. Absolutely, I think that might be his biggest fear is trying to slow down the score if Nathan does eventually mm -hmm. get to it, mm -hmm. but also trying not to lose elves on the way yeah. as Nathan tirades down the field. Uh, yep, not choosing to use the last reroll. Goes down on the dodge. That's a lot. That's a lot of runs from ones from Jake so far. Yeah. <laughs> the dice have definitely not been kind to him. All right, so this is top of the three. Yes. Okay. He's buying patch of the animal savagery. Here comes the block. And he gets Got the pow. pow. Sidestep means he gets to go where he wants. Yes. What are the armors on the blitzers? Nine up. Okay, okay. Everyone else is eight, but blitzers are at nine. Yes, and he rolls a five, so he does not break armor. Jake lamenting his uh, situation. Yes. Having to use those rerolls in the first turn was really detrimental. Very true, very true. Um, nice for the remainder of this half. I've never actually played elves, only ever played against them. But it seems to me that that is kind of how you want to be using your rerolls, is that your offense is already pretty dang strong. You already have your your two up catches if it's accurate um, on everyone, and you've got passing. You know, but that comes fairly easy to you. Mm -hmm. Lashes. Oh, no one around, so he's actually. No, he's blitzing. Okay, okay, okay. So you want to be using your rerolls on the offense, more or less. Mm -hmm. But to not really get anything out of it, and you still have, you know. Six more turns because we're at the top of the three. Yes. And we've already seen the amount of ro uh, the amount of ones that Jake's been rolling. Ugh. I know it worries me to say, but I believe Jake at the start of this game was debating going for two re rolls and a thrower, yep, yep. as opposed to the three re rolls. And it looks very helpful that he had the ex <laughs> he at least has one re roll left. It's better than being completely out after the first turn. This, that is part of um, oh. actually re-rolling. So hypnotic gazed. So he loses the tackle zone um, until he is activated. Now it's also in Nathan's best interest to not necessarily stall, but to take his time working his way down the field. Absolutely. Just keep a strong uh, hand on the ball, make sure you keep it defended, and then also don't allow your opponent to get a bunch of, um, oof, another knockout. And this is what I was going into, which you don't want to give your opponent multiple chances or as many chances to uh, 
pass those KO rolls to get them back into the game. If it only ends, like on necessarily uh, Nathan's turn eight, and then it goes into one more one more turn of Jake's turn eight before the, the half ends, that is a there's only what three KO rolls that he that he gets to make yeah. compared to if there's a lot of back and forth and Nathan scores next turn, and then it goes to Jake, and then Jake probably scores quickly because he's playing L's. Yeah. That's a lot more chances that he's going to have to actually pass those rolls. Mm. Looks like he nearly breaks the armor there, but not quite. He just keeps doing out the damage. Oh. <laughs> Scared of going, going for it. Which actually does allow an easy blitz into the uh, into the ball carrier there. Bottom of the three, you're fine. Eight out of the eight movement out of the box? No, they have seven movement. No, wait, the catchers do. Oh, man. I am so unfamiliar with just straight mounts. I mean, that is their strength, though, is their mobility. Absolutely. Before I even started playing Blood Bowl, that's the one thing I knew about elves. Yep, yeah, right. right. It's kind of the trope. Three. Bottom of the three. Any players removed? Uh, we have two KOs. Jake has two KOs. Received or given? Given. Oh wait, no, taken. No. Two, there are two elves in the in the in the KO box. And he had to br Jake had to burn both re rolls on or two re rolls on turn one. For what? I don't remember what exactly. I forget. Uh, one of them was a I think. I think one of them was a dodge. Oh, he rolled two skull two uh yep. two downs yep. and then. Rerolled for the POW, and then I don't remember the other one. I think way too many players go into halves without using their rerolls. Pointless. Not me. Exactly. I, I not, not my choice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is still, um, you know, game one of the season. These are fresh teams out of the box. You don't have a lot of money for rerolls. Yes. Um, I know I'm not necessarily the uh, the poster child for this, but uh, I'm only starting with one reroll. Oh wow! Uh, I'm I have a very expensive team in in uh, Chaos Renegades because I'm starting with all three big guys. I'm not saying it's the right choice, but I can say I I, I understand where this is coming from. And not to say that three rerolls is even a small amount. That's a pretty good amount that you want to be starting with anyway. It's just that sometimes the uh, the dice say otherwise and say no, you need to spend me now. Get him, Jake. Yeah, we're rooting. We're trying to stay unbiased here. Uh, uh, Jacob here on the uh, as a, as a co-commentator with me here. Uh, probably a lot less biased than me. Uh, <laughs> I'm always for that that uh, elf blood, but uh, Jake is a great competitor. Great and Nathan both. These are great scions of our uh, Blood Bowl league here. It's always a fun game watching him. Absolutely. Jake is on the back foot a little early, but he it's definitely not anything he can't come back from, especially with elves and their movement. Mm -hmm. And this uh, this half did start with a kickoff to uh, Nathan, which means the second half, no matter what happens, it is going to be kicked off over to Jake's side. And elf off, the, uh, the, uh, the offense of the elves are one of the key, play, uh, key, key reasons why you pick up the team in the first place, just because they have such scoring capabilities. Close on the armor mm -hmm. break. Very close. And that is, I mean, obviously with everyone here, but Nathan uh, was going into this game and he's, he was saying that he's so worried about his first game in the league because uh, it, there's, there's a chance that he doesn't have a lot of armor on his side either, that a lot of his players get knocked out or worse, you know, they just get straight casualty with negative deep pecs or they just straight up die. 
and elves is a, I mean, uh, vampires are an expensive team as well. So there's a chance for him to lose a lot of money in the game. Elves making dodges, of course, what's new? So this is the natural progression of, of the cage, is that you surround the cage. Um, Jake, I mean, definitely still has enough players that he can, prob that he can probably still maneuver around here. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see how Nathan breaks out. Oh, we have the stream set of just chatting. Do you want to set it to something? Uh, if I can, I will. It is what it is. One way or another. Uh, top of the four. Yes. Hitting the blitzer with the vampire. Here comes the dice. Yes. That's a push. Yes. Okay, okay. He still has the other vampire there to hit the other um, position, hitting, uh, touching the uh, ball carrier there. All right, declaring move. Who's again to lash out? Okay. Armor roll. It's completely fine. Uh, reminder that he does still have the option of hypnotic gaze, which is a two up um, on a non, if, as long as the vampire is unmarked. Declaring block. Gets it. Now they're two die. Is that the other blitzer? Ooh. Ooh, okay. Yep, so, it's Nathan. Yep. He's going to burn a reroll there. Down to one. You can do it. Well, Ooh. It still frees up the ball carry, if nothing else. Yes, but it does get. Nathan also down to one reroll now. Mm -hmm. At one reroll sure. apiece, it's a much more favorable state than Nathan. I believe he started this turn actually with three, wasn't he it? He did. Yep. Yes. Burn two. No, no, he did start with one. He did start with one. Oh, okay. But it, but uh, I feel like uh, the vampire rolls are a lot harder to make than the elves. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, because. He just has so many roll, different mm -hmm. roles he has to make. Mm -hmm. We're a mixture of hypnotic gaze and animal savagery. Yep. Going for the hypnotic gaze. All right, he's gazed upon. Oh, wait, that was the animal savagery first. Okay. So he passes that without hitting. I see. Okay, he declared the. Okay. Yep. But here's the actual roll, which is yes. a three up because he is in one other person's tackle zone. He's gazed. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Now that's a two die because he has the assist now. Ooh. Ooh. Does he use the last re roll? Or does he let it go? He's debating. It, it isn't a, a terrible situation if he lets it go. Yep, and there he goes. Yep. yep. I don't know. Saves the reroll. <sighs> Man. Poor Jake, too. He hasn't beaten any of these Thrall's armor 
or the, the he keeps rolling one underneath either seven for the thralls or eights for the vampires yes he's gotten very close almost every time but just not quite getting it Yes, the scream of agony after that. Can't blame the man. Sheesh. You try. You try being in that situation. Yeah. Okay. So obviously, like I was saying, the natural progression of the uh, of the cage is to surround it, preventing them from actually moving. But once you do that. Nathan just has the, the strength advantage, just plain and simple. He has five strength, four people, compared to all the elves, and the elves are down players. If nothing else, Nathan will just be able to brute force it at this point. Exactly. The, the great thing that the elves players do have is their blitzers, block and sidestep. He's been making good use of them so far, and they're going to have to do even more wonders if they're going to actually stop Nathan from scoring in this half. Activating the player so he's no longer, uh, no longer gazed. Or is he? Mm -hmm. Okay, so before he wakes up, doing a one die into the vampire, gets the pow. Wow, the one die, he gets the pow. Sometimes it's what you need. This could be a rallying point for Jake if he's able to potentially break armor. I wish I could. I wish his. Uh, I could see his his models painted. First off, Jake's model is actually really nice painted. They uh, had a JoJo style going on. They're looking pretty dang nice. But I wish I could tell better because I want to know if that's a blitzer that's marking the um, the ball carrier. Yeah. Does not break armor on that roll, however. Just keeping it going. Yeah. <laughs> Can't break armor. I'm always so disheartened when I uh, when I'm playing against a regen team, because first off, you gotta break armor, and then you gotta cause the casualty, and then they get a chance to regen. Yep. <laughs> so one of the most annoying things, because you can kill them, kill them dead. It does not matter yep. if they have regen, because yeah. they will likely just come back. Yep. So you can you can cause damage, but it won't be lasting damage to the rest of their season. You get so excited, like, oh god, they rolled a 16 on the casualty. They're down a player. Nah, I'm 50-50. I'm yep. back in. <laughs> no harm, no foul. I'm in reserves. Regen was actually a, a reason to consider um, getting a Chaos Troll for my Chaos Renegades team because it's just a lot more sustainability. Uh, but trolls are dumb and boring and stupid yeah. <laughs> and no one should ever have a troll. Um, they make terrible friends, trust me. <laughs> I've been debating whether, when or whether or not, I guess, to get my troll for my Black Orcs. Yes, I agree <laughs> that it is a difficult situation. I don't know. The yeah. correct, I I'm not starting with one, I know. I, I agree with that. I, I agree that you probably shouldn't be starting. All right, there's a, a pile into, yes. the, um, into, the thaw, into the thrall. And it's an, actually a chain push. I don't think that's any better of a position. If anything, I'd say that's a better position. Yeah. 
the only fear, I guess, of Nathan's now is getting pushed off the pitch. True. 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 A lot easier to hit a push than a guarantee, than a pow, but. But he still has two uh, vampires. Yes, absolutely. To the east and east and west there. I believe I heard another one die block announced. Okay. Yep. So he's finally activating the uh, the gaze player. Hits the dodge pow. Into the thrall. And this is where you want to be aiming your 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 blocks if you can manage into the weak armored thralls. See if you can finally break some armor. Choosing not to follow up. Ooh, Ooh finally does break it. Finally, all right. Here's here's the couch tee or the injury. Six. Yep, stunned. Just stunned. Uh, more than what's been caused so far. Yes, I believe that's Jake's first armor break so I've, far. Yep, I believe so. And that was a very good team for, I mean, a very good turn for Jake. There. Absolutely. Finally able to actually lash back, even though he only caused the uh, the one stun there, uh, no other armor breaks, he still put himself into a much better position. It's not like the ball carrier thrall can really run out past them. Um, it's just a much, he has all of his units in, uh, in better positions here. He still has the other two thralls and the two vampires on the ground to start off. Yeah, he's in a much better position now to try and prevent, uh, try and prevent the potential score from. Oh, we have to do it. Tim? Are we logged in as admin or anything for your... How do you... Oh, oh. Can you right click it? Right click? Hey, you guys don't want us to be famous? I thought we already were. That's fair. I'll take care of it. And who said we're not popular? We have viewers. <laughs> Still no touchdown. Still no touchdown. This is actually... Are we on to turn five now? I think, that? yep. Okay. It should be the top of turn five, waiting for Nathan yes. to really start us off, though. Okay, here comes a blitz. Still has to make the two up, though. That's the nature of uh, Twitch these days. Unfortunately. Okay, here's the two die block. This is the blitz. Ooh. All right, but that's that's almost guaranteed to get the last reroll. Yep. Yep. There it is. Nathan going down to the. But he got the pow. He, he does did get the get dodge. It in the end, yes. It's so strange to me, um, that elves, pro elves here, um, don't come with dodge on any of their players. It just seems like so innately to what elves do, but. That's what I was thinking. I thought about asking earlier in the half about if the elves have dodge because that just seems like something they would have, but um, I didn't think they did after I saw a few dodge pals by Nathan. Well, I think because my first elf team ever playing against was the uh, wood elf team, and the wood elf players do come with dodge. Interesting. In fact, I want to double check their roster here, but yeah, both their catchers and their war dancers both start with dodge. I don't know. 
Yeah, it just seems like something elves would have, but I suppose not. Are not high elves in here? I don't think they are. I think they're right. Yeah, they're not. I don't think so. Okay. But I do see a line here. Yup, this is the Hypnogaze line, this is what I was thinking. It's just a two up dodge, well after a four up with the uh, Animal Savagery first. And no rerolls, however. Ooh, no rerolls, true. Ooh. Armor roll for the thrall. He's fine, again, barely. No, all Elven Union, none of the Elven Union players start with dodge. This is the first game of the season, out of the box. They don't start with any of those skills. Tim, move the dice tray. All right, but that is a successful gaze. So the ball carrier is able to move down the field and skirt the player. What is the movement, if you happen to know, on Nathan's thralls? Thralls are six. Okay. Six, three, three, and eight. Okay. Strength three, agility three up, eight up armor. So he definitely, he cannot get it this turn, likely, but he can no, he he get very close. He definitely can. He does not have the movement, If he, even if he goes twice. Yes. I, knowing Nathan, I don't think he'll go for the go for it. No, no, def I definitely know, no. Okay, just moving the vampire. This is a 50-50, four up. Nope, okay. not get it. So he doesn't lash out, because there's no one around him, which means he just loses his whole activation. <laughs> okay, okay. Actually able to activate the other vampire without hitting anyone. Two up dodge. Okay, another hypno gaze, so another two up because he's not in anyone else's tackle zones. Move the dice tray. All right, bottom of turn five. This is such a good game so far. Um, thankfully, Nathan was able to activate the uh, vampire on the top there and moved up and gazed the other vampire. I mean, the other the other elf there, because otherwise the elves could have just dodged out and moved around and had an even. I mean, he has the numbers in position that can blitz the ball carrier here. It's going to be really interesting going in. KOs are one and one. They each have one KO. Only one? I thought uh, Nathan had two KOs. Oh, whatever. Maybe maybe that's why we were thinking, because one of them was Nathan's. Yeah. That would make some sense. Cause you're you're I don't altering the, first KO the narrative here, all right? We've been, <laughs> we've been on the pro-vampire narrative this whole game. You can't just come in and tell us. Does hit the dodge, pal. Ooh, and yeah, armor break. First armor break, or second armor break, even. On the thrall. And now nah, stunned. Stunned. Even still, though, with the, with the armor even breaking, Jake barely makes it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's still exactly what he needs and nothing more. Um, in case you didn't hear that from Tim when he poked by, uh, their current KOs are one apiece. So both Jake and Nathan both have one KO. No casualties, no casualties, just KOs. And obviously there was no inducements these, this game, so no, uh, no blood wiser kegs on either side.
Blitzer doing a two die into the thrall. It does hit the dodge pal. <laughs> Doesn't break armor. Oh, Four goodness. up dodge with one, one reroll. Oh, you monster. If Jake can amount the comeback, he's going to start now. Ooh. Okay, there's the reroll, though. He's, yep, zero rerolls. Yep, and, and he goes down. Hit it. <laughs> even, when he th even when he is the invisible second reroll and rolls the dice a third time, still fails that, too. Uh, eight breaks. He's stunned, but but that's a that's a score for Nathan if he wants it. Top of the six. It is a score, and it does break the armor, or excuse me, it does take the last reroll. I'm trying to say yes, yes, from yes. Jake as well. Okay, but this is scary. All right, um, if we're thinking all that matters is winning here, is is Nathan gonna score, or is he gonna is he gonna uh, stall here at the end of the? Board? I think he might try and stall, especially against elves. Exactly, a team you don't, so potent to score quickly. Because right now, what you would be giving him if he scores, um, you'd be giving Jake three turns to score back in return, um, which elves can absolutely do. Yes, but. Are you really in that good of a position that you can say, yes, I can confidently hold on to the ball for at least another turn, if not two? I think Nathan, just knowing Nathan, might just score just trying to get it done with so he can. I am not that, that brave. I, I would agree with that. I think the yeah. best play is, is, to, uh, is to just take the, the guaranteed point here. But I could definitely see it going either way. He can make either choice. Oh, but any action he risks here is um, a potential turnover because he has no rerolls. Yep. So, I, ooh, that's a very hard, hard choice that he's going to have to make if he goes for any blocks at all. Yes, exactly. Risking the double down or the down. Let's see what he ends up doing. He did activate that vampire and did get the four up pass. Um, Oh, but then he does the uh, hypnotic gaze. Oh, wait, no, yeah, that was not. That was for a different vampire. No, he was. Yeah, okay. I was right. Sorry. Yep, sorry, sorry. Yep. He's gazed. And actually, that was the only activation that was going to be no risk, no turnover. Because if he failed the animal savagery, he wasn't going to hit anyone. And if he failed the, uh, the hypnotic gaze, he wasn't going to sub turnover. So. That's the other vampire. He's standing up, and he's gazed. That, that, this is smart. I didn't think about how uh, how risk-free gazing was. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel if he's just going to score, I don't believe hypnotic gazing carries over, does it? It does not. I did no, not think not, no, so. Maybe just to rub it salt in the wound, I guess. <laughs> right. No, he actually is going for a block here. Okay, and he hits the pow. After hypnotic gazing, he hits the pow. As someone who does yearn for uh, el elf blood, I can understand rubbing it in the face and trying to do as much damage to the elves as you can um but this is looking like he's actually oh never mind i don't know i was gonna say it looks like he was setting up a tiny little cage there in the corner to protect the uh, the ball carrier if he was gonna stall but i don't know so much anymore unless he's gonna try and hand it off to a vampire and score with a vampire off the spp but how risk? That's exactly oh what he's doing. My. Okay, it's fine. It is just just a two up, two up for the handoff. Yeah. He makes it. Yep. Okay. Yeah, Nathan thinking in the long run. If he's able to uh, to hold on to the ball and uh, and keep it and actually score with the vampire, good for him, man. Good for him. Hits the power too. <laughs> and Nathan's getting anything he wants. 
Oh, and, the, and that and that uh, that failed dodge going into a um, a KO for Jake last turn. That was really rough because that means going into this next turn, he's not going to have him, and actually, he's not going to have him for the turn after either. Breaks the armor. Still a knockout. It's still something. Yes, knockout. At least tries to limit his possibility of scoring before the end of the half, assuming Nathan doesn't continue to stall. He does. Still makes the two up with the hit. So here's another pile. Yep. Yeah, they wow. Are. 21 place to go. Does he follow? I wouldn't follow. Yeah, no. Yeah, he, <laughs> no. Have to break that armor, though. Let's see what we get. I mean, if we picked up two more first round picks from my guys first round pick right now, I mean, that's still just, like, that's like, that's a lot of ammunition. Oh, that's, that's an armor break. Another knockout, too. Still no casualties, still no SPP, but, yeah, I think that, that does really kind of solidify um, Nathan actually scoring this half. Um, but it's not impossible. A blitzer can definitely get in there, get a bad block versus the vampire, push him towards the, the edge of the pitch, and then the ball bounces in off the pitch, and then the crowd just takes it and throws it somewhere. It is still definitely possible for Jake to uh, stop the score, or even score himself, depending on how lucky the, uh, the blitz is. I've definitely seen some crazy things in the short time I've played Blood Bowl. That would be yes. number one by a far amount. <laughs> uh, first league I ever watched, there was a, I think it was, I think it was a championship game, mm -hmm. and Tim was playing his elves that back then, and that's exactly what he did. The I forgot, I forgot who he was playing. I think it was Bucky. Uh, he had the ball carrier entirely encaged, like on every single, every single point. He had seven players surrounding him, but that leaves one opening. So <laughs> the blitzer, Tim's blitzer, who was an elf manages to go all the way around the cage, poke in from the backside, um, gets the disadvantage block, but it's fine. He does get the KO, or not the KO, he gets the knockdown, and I think he ends up scoring. He at least steps and stops from scoring, but it was so, so rough. Absolute insanity. And then I don't think he had any rerolls. Or at least he didn't for the block. <laughs> he, made it, he had to use it to make it to get there. Does activate the player. Gets the pow. With the two other assists. <laughs> Alright, still vampire. It's a nine. Oh, that's a five. Dang it. Breaks the armor. Okay, okay. Here's the injury. Very close to a knockout, but not quite. And I know the... Uh, or the regen is only 50-50, just like a KO. But I feel, <laughs> I always feel like, ooh, another KO, another pow. Um, that with regen pieces, you always almost kind of want to get them into KO because there's a chance they sit there in KO and constantly fail their, their roles to get back in the game. Where if you casualty someone and they pass the regen, they immediately go into reserves. Stand up dodge. He's planning for the... Yep, there he's coming. Here comes the go for it and dodge. Yep, first go for it. Second for the block. It was a one, which is a fail. So he's down. Oh, Injury uh, or armor. Oh. Yep, yep, armor <laughs> keeps rolling those pulls for armor. Knocked out. Can't roll the 12 for casualties. I believe that's now the top of yep. turn seven. Going into turn seven for Nate. I, don't, I almost want to stall another turn. Really? Even, yeah? I mean, that would give Jake two turns. I mean, just look at the board. Where are the elves? They are all the way towards the line of scrimmage. You have all your vampires between yeah. you and the ball, and you have thralls. To, I, I, I don't think it's worth that. There's only that one that's already d down on the bottom right, yeah. but... The only thing, I, I think you're right, honestly, I would 
probably do the same thing, mm -hmm. just try and take out more elves as possible. And it looks like that's what he's going to try and do. The vampire coming for the block. That was the blitz. It was just a push. Ooh. Careful though on that down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but does the fact that we see him risking the blitz, I think, does that is that telling that he is going to stall? Probably. I think so. Yep, that was, yep, that's Nathan ending his turn right there. Yep. Not even choosing to try and activate the other two vampires because it's a four up if they choose not to blitz, which he already did the one blitz. Um, so it's a four up to activate those players to do anything else. And if they fail that activation, they lose their tackle zone, which is kind of defeats the purpose of leaving them as a, uh, as a guard between the ball carrier and the elves. But Jake, just assuming that, nope, he can't get to the ball, don't even risk it, just going for the foul. Yeah. Oh my goodness, he Didn't gets the 11. This is what matters, though. Ooh. Yep, not only did he fail to get the casualty, he did break armor, so he is stunned. Not that it matters. But then he gets doubles and uh, gets sent off. So the, 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 the player that caused that uh, fouled get sent off that is a turnover as well yep uh vampire top of turn eight does activate does hit the thrall but he is going to score but jake does get a chance to break armor here breaks armor okay injury stun thrall but it doesn't matter because he scores yep and that's it first uh that was that was pretty clinical that was exactly what you would want um as the vampires here scoring on turn eight Causing a good chunk of casualties. And an ejection. Yeah, and, and the injection, which is a, basically a casualty. Yeah. And this is gonna uh, This is gonna be rough. Jake is gonna have one turn to uh try to do something. Probably not gonna do much, but it does allow him to set up to at least get three hits on the line of scrimmage, and he also allows him to uh, roll for the KOs. One of them's in. Okay. Oop. All right, so two of Jake's KOs were in, two of them were out. And the one KO'd player from Nathan is in. So currently it's zero KOs for Nathan and two with, uh, in Jake. Two elves are KO'd. When the 2020 rules were first announced and gold was, de uh, was said to be determined also by the amount of touchdowns, which was a new addition, in case for those who don't know, every touchdown you score is um, an extra 10K at the end of the, at the, end of the game. Um, and because of that, because you get more gold, the more touchdowns you scored, I was actually thinking that, hey, this might be a good chance to start playing like an elf team, a high scoring team, you know, Elves or Skaven or what have you. But, I mean, you can't really, there's a, the siren song of bashing is a, a cool mistress. That's a blitz. That's a, wow. that's a blitz on the uh, on the kickoff table. Four active players for Nathan. Blitz with the vampire succeeds. Gets the pal. Breaks armor? Yeah, lineman breaks armor. Injury? He's just done. That still narrows down Jake's possibility to try and get as many casualties 
on the end of the turn eight. Exactly. That was the only thing that Jay could hope to, to accomplish here was get some more, uh, to cause some damage to the vampire team here. But the, uh, the blitz just really puts a stopper on that stopper. Pick up the ball. Four up for the pass, really? Yep. He okay. hits it too and gets the six. Two up to catch. One SPP. Wow. All right, but that is the end of this half. Oh wait, I assume, I mean, yeah, is he gonna try to do some? All right, yep, so that is gonna be the end of the half. Uh, players are gonna take a short break, use the bathroom, take a smoke, whatever they need. And we'll be back with the start of the second half. Except we don't know how to mute our mics, so yep. we're going to be here forever.
Test, test. Yep, we're back. All right, so we, uh, our co co commentator Jacob, is on his way over. The players are in a rush to get started again with our going into the second half there. It is a kick to uh, the elves here. Over to Jake. Nathan playing defensively, only putting the three that you need to put on the line of scrimmage. Doesn't want to give his opponent any chances. <laughs> yep, high kick. So he's going to get to put his catcher right underneath. So start of turn nine. Catching it with the three. Which was a three up. He caught it on a six. Yes, we are. Nathan, you're good. Mm -hmm. You can open the door. Yeah, you're good. What left That's just for editing. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> and actually I was incorrect the current dugouts are looking like one player casualty or uh, KO'd for the elves and one player dejected or ejected for fouling is that a change up of die for mm -hmm. Jake I believe <laughs> acknowledging the, uh, the bad luck Unfortunately, he hits the one and does not get anything more than a stun. There's the pow. Even stuns are, aren't, aren't bad to get on the thralls, because um, it is another player that the vampires can't hit then. But that breaks armor. Stunned. And he's just stunned. I just now realized, are those like peasants? The, the his his thralls. Like one has a scythe and one oh, has I a pitchfork. Oh, I see. Pitch yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. I like that a lot. Is it a pow? Yeah, it was. Yep. I think. Yeah, it was. It was a dodge pow. Okay. Oh no, he's taking the uh, he's taking the block. And does not break armor. Break armor. What's their armor? Eight. Nine up on um, oh, nine. vampires. Eight on thralls. And then elves are eight on everything, nine on spitzers. No, wrong. Apothecary all the way. Don't care about the thralls. Let the thralls die. You need just enough to manage. I'm I've been really impressed so far with how Nathan has been managing his his vampires, and uh, I I first, one of the first things I said was that he was playing a lot more scared of animal savagery than I was. But hey, he's it's been paying off. He knows what he's doing. I'm I'm really interested to see how far this team can go. But this is the other side of the straw, which we were talking about the Elvin offense here. Uh, <laughs> yep, he's he's put a wall between him and uh, the vampires, and he's just gonna run the ball and straight down the field. The again. All right, here's a throw. Weak armor. Can we break some armor here? Call some damage. Breaks on the eight. Exactly what he needs. That's something. It's something. It's better than he's been getting. He does get the <laughs> knockout as opposed to just another stun. Very true. Finishing his uh, the rest of his movement there. All right, 
so he is going for it. No? Debating. The answer is yes. But see, this is also an interesting uh, place for vampires because of their hypnotic gaze. If you just put one or two players uh, screening you, then you just have one of the other vampires run up, gaze them, there goes the tackle zone, you can just slip right on by, and then you out-muscle the elf, because you're strength four to his three. Alright, so there's a go for it. Very close to a three, I believe. Oh, we were back at three roll we rolls each. Oh, yep. Sorry, Jacob, you're kind of in control of the mouse right now. <laughs> I forgot about that completely. Mine's You're on the right, right side yeah. of the keyboard there. <laughs> Reminds me of like my middle school years and playing cool math games online. The yes. lava girl and whatever boy playing with WASD and the arrow keys, but wasn't advanced enough to do both. <laughs> <laughs> so I always had to find a friend. So that is where he's going to settle the ball carrier. Going for it? All right. He does have three rerolls, but. Doesn't need it. These new die are paying off yeah. <laughs> dividends. Uh, that is true. I don't think I've seen a one. Oh, we did see a single one. Yes. Yes, just to start off. But. Uh... Yep, so bottom of the nine. Declaring hypno gaze. Yep, so this is what I was talking about. First it's the four up though. Lashes. <laughs> Can't break thrall. Yep, two up hypno gaze. He's gazed. Yep, and that's a that's a simple don't no go for it's no nothing. That's a straight blitz onto him. It's a two die. I mean, it's a two up first. Makes the two up. Then it's a two die at the elf. And there's a chance that the ball just goes haywire here off the pitch. All right, Nathan, you don't gotta like Nathan rub it in. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> just rub it in a little bit. Hits the power also. Rolling armor though. First off. Ba yep, they'll be fine. Two, three. I don't know their. Now they're doing it. It is off. They it say. is off. And I don't know how the opposition is working anymore. Yeah, that part I know. First square is zero. So Alright, so straight down. Which isn't terrible for elves. It's not back towards the um, back towards them. Ten, Ten squares. Correct. Yes. It's gonna make quite the travel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but it is still Nathan's turn, and he still has the other vampire who hasn't moved, and is open. Yes, he is probably gonna lash out at a thrall, but. That's, That's a loss we're willing to take. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gain control of the ball. You could even stand up the thrall that's already been hit and is on the ground. Stand him up, move him over, just to get hit again. Nah. Claren Black doesn't hit it, doesn't hit anyone. Two die with the vampire. I think it's the dodge pal. No, it was actually just the push. Oh, was it? Just a push. Okay. I'm blind then. My apologies. 
Oh, some sometime with those with the the dice that aren't so dark, the overhead lights really put a glare onto them. Yeah. I'll take the excuse, but I don't think that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that's exactly what he needed. First, the four up, so he doesn't lash out at the thrall for the animal savagery, and then he picks it up on a two with a two. So, and his retainer bodyguard here. Oh, so four, up. <laughs> four up, he gets it, and he gets to move. Is he gonna dodge out? Sure, why not? It's a two up. Let's see it. Yep. Gets any, a six. Style on him. <laughs> Alright, so we are going into turn two of the second half. <laughs> it's actually gotten to the point, even though it's only one score so far where Jake is contemplating the uh, the surrender there, actually, the forfeit. In a league setting, it is always such a hard decision if you do want to take the, uh, the surrender, take the forfeit, because you don't get MVP, you don't get your money back, but at the same time, what has what Jake lost so far? Nothing. He's lost the game, debatably. I mean, he still has a whole second half, that, and with elves, they can score so quickly. But in his eyes, right, game's lost, but he also hasn't lost any players yet. The one player that is in the casualty box was ejected for a following. He can come back next game. No one's actually been hurt, and the longer that he sits here in this quote-unquote losing game, he's, uh, he's risking more injury to his soft players. Makes a three up dodge to start, then a two up dodge. Made it. Elf I don't. I didn't think I heard him declare blitz. So, yep. So he's just moving him, tagging the vampire. Each coach is their own, but I definitely think it's way too early to, to forfeit here. You still have three rerolls. The bar, the ball is still really close to your 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 touchdown there, towards the end zone. You just need one or two good play with your blitzers. You have the rerolls to make it happen. Okay, he's he's a, he's making the the two go for it to make this play happen. This is the first go for it. Use the second for the block. It is a one die block. That's a big, that's a pow. It was actually a dodge pow, but whatever, that works. He's down. I does not break, needs a nine. Very close yet again, again. to breaking armor. Hits the eight out of nine, or needed nine. So he has two tackle zone on the ball, and he stops Nathan from just moving the vampire next turn. A very good position now, or at least significantly better. Significantly from better. Contemplating conceding to the possibility to pick up the ball. And it, he didn't use any rerolls there to make the blitz happen, so he can absolutely pick this up. Yep, two up dodge. Go for it. <laughs> Onto the ball. First to go for it, though. Okay, is he going to re-roll? Yep, he is re-rolling down to two. Okay, then the pickup on a two. Okay, so there, yeah, this is exactly what elves do. If you drop the ball, they can just run up and pick it. A Jody four up on everyone.
Oh, the vampire is down. Oh, okay. Yes. Why is that a two die block? Uh, is he going to let it go? That was a failed rush. Very <laughs> close to <laughs> meeting his words Fam there. Famous last words. <laughs> Alright, so this is bottom of turn two. So this is, no, this is still turn ten. We're good, we're good. Oh, bottom. Okay. oh yeah, sorry. The, uh... Turn switch messed me up there. Yep, so moving in the thrall, uh, negating the assists from those two elves if he wants to stand up and blitz with the vampire next to the ball carrier. Uh, that is actually a good point, though, that we have seen very little uh, vampire aggression as far as their own thralls. <laughs> no thralls have been uh, mortally wounded yet this game. Nathan, the master of vampires, figuring out how they should be played. Head and secret all along of Nathan's. Jake's at the point where he's questioning rulings. <laughs> Oh, he does, so he does lash out and does hit the vampire, or the thrall, and he casualties him. Wow. Crash your curse, I guess. Okay, now, now, first off, niggling injuries, which is also missing next game, which probably plays into Nathan's uh, post-game sequence here, because he was debating buying a thrall, now he's probably going to have to buy another thrall. Um, but first casualty of the game, and no SPP for it because it was caused by animal savagery. Which I think is BS, by the way. I think the vampire should get the points. <laughs> but that is not the ruling. <laughs> Nathan using a reroll wow. here, going down to two just to do the two die block again. This could be. Ooh. Same, same dice rolls. Yep. Okay, but this is still early in the in the turn for Nathan. Even though he fails to get the knockdown on the ball carrier, he still has vampires to move. He still has thralls to pick up. Uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. When the player uh, hypnotic gaze with that guy. Yep. So this is what this is what's starting us off. We got hypnotic gaze. Still hit, hits the thrall, but that's back down to dirt. Broken. Broken again. Here comes another catch. <laughs> Just when we were saying something about it. Knocked out. It's not quite the casualty, but... Ooh, okay. Animal savagery is coming in. <laughs> in case you forgot about it in the first half. He's gazing, which is a two-up. Hits the two. Not that it really... You know what, actually? I kind of like this gaze, because usually you save moving the ball carrier until the uh, the end of your turn. Which, if you save his activation, he's not going to have a tackle zone, so he's not going to be able to help, uh, you know, clear these vampires off of the the ball carrier. So first off, this is a hypnotic gaze, four up, no one around him. Of course, he makes it. <laughs> yeah, another two up hypnotic gaze. <laughs> Anything but. Dude, their their gaze. <laughs> 
this, there must be a fucking light show going on over there. Oh my god. All these, uh, all these fours and fives, remind me playing uh, my uh, bull centaurs and my chaos dwarves last, <laughs> last league. Finally, fail the animal savagery, loses the tackle zone. Three up, dodge with the thrall. Okay. Declaring move. Yep. Doesn't get up. Last player. Out and away. Three up. Movement four, five, six. Mr. North. All right, uh, rushing it. Oh, wait, can he make that? No, no. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Doesn't have to rush. All right, going into the top of turn three. Jake and us, Jake starting us off. the roster here again. I think one of them has um, what am I looking for? Nerves of Steel. Yes. Which negates tackle zones when he's trying to pass or catch. So yes. And it is his catcher, which I do believe is the one who has the ball. And if that is the case, then he does have Nerves of Steel, which means that his activation could just be him tossing the ball into the end zone here. Unless the catcher does not have it, but I think he does. <laughs> really wish I could tell these pieces apart better. Yeah. I think it just me might be harder from a top-down perspective. Yes, it is a little bit, yes. And with the, the bright lights, yes. Yeah. But even if he does have nerves of steel, his passing ability is still just a four-up, if it is the catcher. But hey, that's what I learned with all these uh, four ups. Is that four up rerollable is a 75% uh, chance to succeed. Oh, but you know, the end zone is actually one out of a quick pass, it's actually a short pass, which is a minus one. So it's actually a five up. up. Yep. All right, we might have to rethink the strategy here. I don't know. Yeah, it's a reroll. <laughs> Depends on how desperate he is, I suppose. Jake understanding that no, he cannot make any two die blocks here. He's gazing and the, uh, the thralls. Okay, okay. Is that a two die? Yes, it is. It is. Into the thrall. That elf into the thrall behind him. Two die block. Big roll. Gets the okay. town. Okay. Damage. Armor. No, nope, armor's fine. One off again. <laughs> Nathan trying to incentivize Jake to go for the score. It is. This is actually a two die blitz into the um, into the into the vampire. Ooh. It is just a push so far. Oh, 
Nathan is mimicking his vampires and trying to hypnotically gaze Jake into <laughs> just going for it and failing with promises of false roles. <laughs> Jake seeing through the uh, the illusion and clearly seeing the actually I'm not gonna try a four up. Thanks, Nathan. Though. Nathan only a one on his hypnotic gaze in yeah. real life. <laughs> Oh, so he is re-rolling. Down to one re-roll for okay. Jake now. This is a two-die block. Ooh. Just Double down into the push. I mean, yep. Obviously, he's going to just take the push. It is still a four up if he wants to try and score. Something's got to come through for Jake's rolls at some point, right? Surely, he's surely. Getting, surely he can hit the four up here if he does go for it. But okay, it would be very risky. Now they're debating going down and around. Does he have enough move? The blitz was one. Then he'd go up for two, three, four, five, six, seven. He could go up and around, which is actually only a three die. I mean, it's only a, a three up, which isn't that bad. And he does have still have one reroll. Here but he goes. wish that he wouldn't have to use it just to get the one score. All right, so this is a three up. Oh. Mm. Yes. Immediate. Oh. That is not good for Ow. Jake. He failed a re-roll? Yeah, he, uh, he failed a three-up dodge into a three-up re-roll dodge and failed again. <laughs> that is really unfortunate for Jake. All right, where does the ball go? Four. All right, bottom of turn three, Nathan's turn 11. That is so heartbreaking for Jake. A terrible series of events. Uh, not to uh, read statistics at people, but a, a three up into a three up is an 88 repeating percent chance to succeed. So, so you're saying there's a chance he can fail. <laughs> I'm saying sometimes, and sometimes Nuffle has fav has favorites, and uh, it's it's your your job as a coach to to know when you're not the favorite <laughs> and play around it. Yeah. Okay, anything you need, Nate. Two die block. That's still not a bad follow. That still gets him off the ball. There is currently no elf tackle zones on the ball. But one elf is knocked down from the failed uh, dodge. If he really wanted to, he, uh, he could dodge out with the, um, the one uh, vampire touching the ball, which is a two-up dodge into a two-up pickup if he wanted. But he does not. He's just going to take the block. Shotgun. See, I mean, look at that. Isn't that a push? Up yeah, there? I think so. I can't even tell. Those are very close. I know. Following up. Oh, that was with the thrall. Oh, was it? Oh, my. Oh, because he had the other throw up top yeah. ass assisting. Okay, okay. I was lost. <laughs> Declaring move. Hypnotic gaze. Yep. All right. Yep. <laughs> Four up. <laughs> okay, so feeling ballsy. He is going to rush just for, the, just for the hypnotic gaze. There's the failed rush. Nathan, you, you got to spend it. He spends it. He's down to one reroll. And he makes the hypnotic gaze. Even if Nathan does pick up the ball, he still has to run it all the way down to the other end of the pitch. 
but you yeah. might not even have to score. You could just theoretically just delay. <laughs> yes. What's the uh, what's the passing on a vampire? Are, are they're not even in the book. I can't even look it up. <laughs> I think they're a four up pass. Maybe they are three up pass. Well, as we've seen throughout this entire game, if it's a four yeah, up, Nathan's <laughs> getting it. Hopefully, it's a four up. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Hits the thrall. He is just activating. <laughs> Broken. And another casualty Ooh. caused by a vampire. I know you're talking about the apothecary possibility, but I think he, after two casualties. He's perfectly fine. Yep. That was a six. He's okay. But still, even with the one casualty yep. fully. He might need. And you were and you were contemplating tools. that Nathan could just uh, first off he makes the dodge he makes the pickup, sure anything you need and there's also the uh, hypnotic gaze person up there it means he can just walk by with the ball. Yep. No one's stopping him. <laughs> he could even hand off here if he wants the SPP on the other player. I don't know who had the SPP from the first game so, or from the first uh, touchdown. Yeah. Oh, but debating uh, if Nathan wanted to just hold on to the ball and uh, and stall out the game. But uh, I think Nathan really should try to get as many touchdowns as he possibly can just because of the extra gold because he's going to need it playing this team. He needs, the, he needs more thralls. He needs an apothecary. These vampires are a, a double-edged sword, as we can clearly see. You can try to mitigate as much damage as you can, which he did in the first half, but... All right, so going into the top of turn four. <laughs> Nathan seems to be agging on his opponent. <laughs> Come get me. <laughs> A two die disadvantage with block really isn't that bad of a roll. Um, the only thing that would end your turn is a skull, which is a one in six. Even after two thralls being casualtyed by the elven unit, or by the uh, the vampires, um, it's still such a tough position that he's still in because he has the ball on the strength four player. The only real blitzing that you're gonna be doing is gonna be at a disadvantage. You have to do it with your blitzer who has the blitz who has the uh, the block skill. But there's still so many dice that you have to roll to even get there. And you have no rerolls. He is standing up so that he so that the uh, gaze player can do a two die block. Guess the push. And whatever he rolls, he has to keep. Once again, no rerolls. So he's marked. Did he blitz yet? He has not blitzed yet.
Oh, here it comes. Here comes the blitz. Yep, he does have the one assist. So this Needs. is actually only one die. It's pretty good. But he oh, has to take the push. No reroll. Okay, takes a double down. That player did not have block, so both both players get to roll armor. Can't break vampire though. Elf. Ooh. Armor broken. Stun. It's just stun. I saw the six yep, I know. first before I saw the one, and I was like, this is not good. Nathan still has one reroll, but part of what I was talking about is the fact that he has to run all the way to the other side of the pitch is that the elves still do um, outmaneuver them. They, he does have a much higher movement than uh, the vampire team does. <laughs> still angry. Quite an angry vampire indeed. <laughs> I know people have been giving vampires flack with this new addition in animal savagery versus their uh, whatever their downside was called uh, last last time around in the 2016 version. Um, but I'm actually really liking this because in the old version, your uh, your vampires would be sitting out the game when you failed a lot of these rolls compared to now where you just hit a hit a thrall. Sure, I'll hit a thrall. I don't care. Again, I thought that was a dodge. Crown. I know. See, me too. Lighting, yeah. But it is just a push. A six, just to prove a point. Yep, just to make the dodge. That was his blitz, though. Interesting. He makes the blitz and then he dodges out. Now he's just going to dodge out with this vampire, I'm assuming. Another angry vampire. Yep, okay, so this was the handoff that I... Thought he had the that he was going to do last turn. First, makes the two of dodge. Good thing. Yep, and then hands off another two. Yep, there we go. Hits the two up to do the handoff. And I'm, I'm assuming that a part of the reason why he's choosing the handoff is because that was the uh, the vampire that scored in the first half. I'm assuming. Yeah. Which is going to be nice, actually having a, uh, a leveled up player going into his, his week two, if possible, here. Hits another angry vampire, third one of the turn. And that, I think, was a block, so that was actually only a two up that he failed there. Sad. That's the first fail Nathan's had in a while. Just wanted to get, know what it felt like again. <laughs> yep, that was a block. A hey, blitzer, so he does have block.
now these elves are going to have to uh, run down the two vampires kind of carrying the ball uh, down the lanes. But it, for him to make it there without doing too many dodges is he's going to have to do some rushing. And we've seen him fail two ups before, especially with no rerolls. There's a go for it. Hits it. At least with the two vampires near in the, in the south there being uh, too angry to stand up or do anything, that does allow these vampire or the uh, the two elves there. Uh, the two elves to escape at least. But if he's not if he's not able to uh, put a blitz into the into the ball carrier here and actually dislodge the ball, um, it's it's hard to say if he's actually not gonna just if Nathan's not just gonna run away with it and score again. Yeah. But there's the pow, the, the one, one dive pow. No rerolls, don't need them. Rerolls are nothing but a handicap to Jake. Throwing the armor, it's a nine up. Okay, where's the ball going? It does go into a pretty good position for Jake. It does. Two tackle zones on the ball for Jake. Uh, he can rush and pick up the ball. Did I just hear a pass declared? I think I heard a pass. Okay. So first off, a two-up dodge. Nine is a go for it. Makes the go for it. Picking on a two. Okay, okay. Is he going to go for it again and then pass? I'm not sure. Is he even going to pass? Why? Just a misdirection. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe to bamboozle Nathan. <laughs> it is true. You don't actually need a um, an actual target. You can just throw it in the middle of the field. Um, but he is going to try the five up to the, the one player who hasn't activated there. It seems uh, what I would call a Hail Mary attempt from Jake. <laughs> Okay. Oh, if that were on the pass, it would have been so much better. Yep. So this is a five-up pass because it's a four-up innately in the distance. Oh. So it's inaccurate. That's not bad. Not so bad far. so far. Uh, he can't catch it. Oh, oh. ball lands and bounces. It's off. <laughs> it is still a turnover for Jake, though. Yes. Yes, Jake is right there. Did go off there. Going diagonally. <laughs> Another, Another ten. ten. Uh, with the zero, that's actually off. Do you want me to tell them? No, just let them play it. Okay. I might have miscounted, but I'm pretty sure that was off. Accepted game rules. Accepted game state.
Um, so this is going into Nathan's turn. He has two vampires right by the ball, but he has to pass four ups, uh, at least on one of them, and then a two up to pick up the ball. Now you can choose to re-roll the animal savagery if he needs to. Still too angry. Okay, here's the other one though, I'm assuming. Blitzing first, two up. He's getting the angries out of the way for the ball pickup, surely. <laughs> or Nathan's luck has turned around drastically. Right. One of the two. Jake trying to bait him into the reroll of the blitz savagery. He's like, join me, join me with no rerolls. <laughs> Let fate decide. Okay, so here comes the ball pickup. Animal, animal savagery is a four up. <laughs> he keeps, he keeps faking us out. He's prolonging it. He's getting nervous. Another two angry vampire. What does he even do if he picks up the ball? Just run away with it? Yeah, I think he just tries to delay at that point. Because you can't. You can't. There's, no, there's yeah. no one you can pass to. This is bottom of turn five. Standing up to throw. Nathan's nervous. I think he is trying to score. There's no way. There's no way he's planning on standing up the the vampire um, on his side of the pitch. No, Hits no, no. it. Okay, okay. Makes the dodge. <laughs> which means that he's guaranteed to actually move the vampire no matter what. Because even if he fails the two up, or the four up actually, which he makes anyway, uh, he's just going to hit the, the thrall, so that works. Picking on a two. So he has the ball again. Still has four more movement if he wants to use it. Very interesting first movement, in my opinion. Uh, you can still get knocked off the pitch in that direction and <laughs> towards the uh, off the end zone. So, <laughs> so he moves. Okay, he stands up at least. Does he get the dodge out though? Two up, might as well try. Yep. Movement four. Five, six. You know what's coming. Hail Mary I wish I did know the passing ability on the vampire. It's very interesting to know how hard it would be for him to run his six movement on the vampire with the ball, the ball carrier, and then pass it to the, uh, the vampire he has off there in the corner. All right, top of turn uh, turn seven here. Wait, no. Turn six, there we go. Yeah. Does not break armor, one off again. Keeping it coming. With two go for it, he can mark, mark the ball carrier.
you know, actually counting out the spaces. Uh, Nathan positioning himself in the opponent's end zone actually puts him out of uh, a lot of blitzing range for most of the players there. So that was the blitz, yep, so like not blitzing the ball carrier. So he's gonna try to mark the ball carrier, if nothing else. Second go for it. Okay. Got there in the end. It, it's something. Start of uh, J uh, Nathan's turn six here. Nathan with the bold claim that Jake cannot possibly win from this position. Jake aiming to prove him wrong. Uh, Nathan has it in Jake's end zone. <laughs> He's not an angry vampire any longer. Well, it's about time. <laughs> Three turns of pass of him just being angry. <laughs> Not gaze. Actually, the first failed hypnotic gaze that we've seen, I want to say. <clears throat> okay, Thrall's going to throw a punch. Before he does, oh my god, he always breaks us out. Hits the six, no longer another an angry vampire. Did he say he was going for another gaze, he I think was. I heard? Okay. Drew up for the hip now. It's the six. Unnecessary gaze, as Nathan claims. And that's when you pull out the sixes, of course. Yep. Nathan's got nothing but sixes. <laughs> He's just dropping sixes everywhere. There's no, no regard for them. Standing up. Oh, he's rushing. Oh, because he had to stand up too. Wait, did he? Makes the gaze. So the ball carry can just walk away. Doesn't even have to blitz. Gazing is so nice, actually. Yeah. Just remove their tackle zone. Mm -hmm. Funny that you say he's Russian. I thought he was Ukrainian. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I had to get the crappy joke in there somehow. Okay. He's blitzing back towards the elves. Yep, he's changing his mind. 
which is kind of sad to do this though because he does have sidestep on that blitzer so if he doesn't actually get the knockdown yeah, doesn't yeah, matter he gets it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right break armor first it is uh it's fine he still has five movement yep now you can make the pass See, here it comes. Here comes the pass. No, no. <laughs> hits the uh, hits the vamp there. Armor rolling him. Nine up. Not even a little bit. Four oh ones my. and then long bomb it. Makes the go for it. Six up pass. I thought it was. That is, yep, that is wildly inaccurate because it's a long bomb. He's debating the reroll. I think he's gonna. He's trying. Yep. He's trying the reroll. <laughs> Nope. Dang. All right. He was down to zero rerolls for that. Six to the six. Yep. From the from the care from the thrower. Off the pitch. Right there. So you're saying there's a chance. There's definitely a chance. All right. So we need to see a low roll, a one or a two. Nope, we're going the other way. As a five. <laughs> no, okay. Now it's going to go off the pitch that side. No, it's only four, okay. Nope, over one. Zero. One. Two. Yes. In elven territory to the one. It's. Um. Nathan's asking if, should, if he should have held on to the ball. Uh, um, I think you should have passed it, but not re-rolled it. Cause you gotta give Nuffle his dues. You have to tempt fate. Otherwise, fate tempts you. Okay. Watch, we just fails this pickup. It is a two up. Yep, he it's picks it up. Two. That's all he needed. Okay, Nathan has two turns to score, though. Both of uh, Nathan's thralls are in. <laughs> Alright, so it is a kickoff to the vampires, and they do have two turns. This was the top of turn seven, so Nathan has all of his turn seven and an eight. It is definitely possible, even with the uh, six movement on the, on the vampires. They just have to rush it a couple times. And there's always the uh, kickoff table to contend with. They could get a riot and give each of them an extra turn, as well as even just a, uh, a quick snap in pushing your vampire one, one square closer to the end zone.
as we're wrapping up the uh, the last couple turns here of this game, it is uh, worth mentioning that it's true that uh, neither player has really suffered any any damage except for the one niggling injury on a on a thrall. Um, and as far as low armor teams go, that's a that's a, that's a win in your book. Can't really ask for too much more. Sure, yeah, you wish you had more touchdowns, more money, more uh, more potential players. So he is setting up with the three vampires in the south there to try and make sure that he gets the ball to one of them so he can try running it in. But it's going to depend a lot on this kickoff. Is he going to be able to actually uh, pick it off and hand it off? Does he have to make the throw? Is that throw going to be wildly inaccurate? There's a lot of dice that's going to have to go right for Nathan here. And no rerolls no re on Nathan's side or on Jake's. set up yet. Right on top of the vampire, just going, at not testing fate. Six to the three. So there's, this is the chance. It could be a touchback right here. Didn't see it. Didn't. Okay. This is the kickoff event. So, yep. Brilliant coaching. Someone's going to get a reroll here. Probably. <laughs> Oop, no. Nope, both three. They both tied. Yep. Alright, ball is bouncing. We need a one, two, or three to go off to go off. Seven. <laughs> he can pick up the ball with the vampire, uh, which is all his movement. Okay. Going. Sorry, go ahead. Um he does not actually need to make the pass this turn. As long as he r runs the vampire that he's eventually going to pass to down the uh, down the pitch, he can still make the pass next turn and still be okay. Making a blitz. Gonna take out another throw. Ooh, he's not even using he's not even using the blitz to do damage. He's just using that for an easier animal savagery roll. Wow. Tactic that he was pretty much known for when he was uh in the uh, barnstorming league and his rat ogre. Alright, so he's gonna move the vampire. Four up. Gets the four. He's 
making these floor ups, but uh, he still needs to make the pass eventually. He has to pick up the ball and say, make the pass. He still has to pick up the ball. Yeah, right? <laughs> Don't get too far ahead. Yeah. It looks like he might be. Three vampires in a thrall move over there in hopes that he's going to be able to get it there. But he still has to pick up the ball. Well, he doesn't have... I don't, I don't think Jake has any players that even with two rushes could even put a tackle zone on the ball. So I think all you really need to do is move the vampire over, uh, pick up the ball, then move the thrall over just in case if he doesn't get hit. Nope, there he gets the thrall. thrall. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. All right, never mind. Armor. Breaks. Broken. He, so he's at least stunned. Yep. He's knocked out. Okay, well. <coughs> there goes everything. <laughs> Pretty much. He has to make the four up uh, to pass next turn then. But there's a two up to pick up the ball. He has the ball. Does barely pick it up. He's debating a going for it, I would assume. And uh, he does have the activation still, so it is possible. Nah, that just puts him in too much danger of the other elves. Three up, dodge with the throw. Never the six when you need it. The one good thing about the old rules is that you could move your vampire and then at the end of its activation, you would check to see if it actually uh, lashed out or not. So you can move it against the thrall and then eat the thrall compared to it needs to be next to someone first. Well, he activates him. Oh, okay. Was that the dodge out? I couldn't... No, that was actually just the activation, okay. which is the more important role, and he makes the dodge, too. Gets the four on both. But what are you going to do with this vampire? Yes, I think dodging away, because it's almost guaranteed knockdown. Sure. Dodge away so you don't get hit. But then where are you, where are you going with him now? So, last turn for uh, for Jake here. Top of turn eight. <laughs> Jake, I mean, he's seen Nathan win these and is very terrified of this position. Trying to prevent the pass, however. Uh, Jake cannot reach the ball. He can still set up to uh, try and intercept, if nothing else, or make the, the pass really hard, but that's pretty much it. I mean, the pass is already going to be like almost for sure a six up. Maybe five? No, there's like no way it has to be six up. Yeah. Because I don't think it's, I don't think these vampires have a better passing ability than a four up. I'm pretty sure it is a four up. Just to match the, the four up theme for vampires. Four strength. Used to be four Jody, now it's two up for Jody. Jake announcing a blitz. Okay, so here, here it is. He does have block. No Not damage. Broken. Block seems pretty strong, if I'm being honest. Uh, Block's best 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 skill in the game. Yeah. <laughs> it does seem pretty all right.
what's going to be so sad is when we when he sets up for the pass. First off, he somehow makes the four up pass, right? Or the the four up activation. Then he makes the six up pass, and then it gets intercepted by one of the stupid elves. <laughs> Probably the catcher with catch, so that he can re-roll the intercept. This is the last turn, uh, top of turn eight for Jake. So Nathan still has a turn after this. Uh, this is the first, go for it. Oh, that's it, okay. That's Jake's turn. We're going to the final, the bottom of the eighth for Nathan. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, What's the best? Yeah, what's the best play going into this? Um, he said I worked third shift. I was sleeping by the time you were blocking. He probably he has two vampires over in that direction that he can try and get some good use out of hypnotic gaze, but I guess it would just be if he wakes up the vampire that's on the ground and dodges into the one vampire into the one elf. That's only a three up dodge into a two up hypnotic gaze. This is actually pretty doable. I can't imagine the reaction if Nathan does pull this off from I know, right? From yeah. one end to the other in a turn with vampires on the list. I right. <laughs> Nathan going through his plan. Nathan needs to just get high rolls and nothing else in he order keeps to saying, do this. I would go for some hypnotic gazes with the other two vampires first. He's laying out the plan for us, saying all these four ups, all these five. <laughs> it's the oh, push. So that was actually the blitz there. He's actually just taking the one die blitz so he can move it over and activate the vampire. And here comes the hilarity about to ensue by Nathan going for this end-to-end -to -end touchdown. Oh, he's actually he's actually thinking about the the ball carry handing it off to the other vampire there so that he can run up further and then do the pass that way. That would be really nice, but it is a four up hand. It'd make off. the pass easier though, but yes. right, but it'd make the overall maybe a little harder. Let's see. Four up. Hits the, hits the throw, but that's why he's there. Yep. This is a handoff, so he is handing off to the, the other vampire there with the other. Uh, the so all's fine, no armor broken. It really doesn't matter where he is. Yeah. yeah. Four up on the handoff. This is the roll Nathan needs for it to be possible. No. He does okay. not get it. Okay. So it does end in a draw. <laughs> yep. And that was that's a good the draw. Game. That was a really rough game, but it was also really fun. Um, I'm really excited to see where these vampires go after this, and also what Jake is able to do with his elves, because he's always such a great player to, to play against. And I'm interested to see if he's actually able to keep up this... Uh, there's a lack of damage on his side. He is walking away with zero casualties after this. Yes. Very good for such a low armor team. Yes, yes. That was a, that was a lineman MVP for Jake. I, I missed an MVP for Nathan. Dang it. I also missed it. I'm assuming it's not a vampire, otherwise he'd be really excited. Yes. <laughs>
All right, but that's the end of the game, guys. So we are going to say goodbye and uh, hope we can catch you guys for the next one. Peace. Thank you all. Yeah, that too. Sure, I have no idea.